All right, we got all the cheerleaders for 250. It's hump day. All right, New York City. It's officially 501 in the F, 502 in the AM. And we have every cheerleading junkie present, but it, but Michael J, Junkie Fireman, a.k.a. Enforcer 250, a.k.a. Snake Fliskin, a.k.a. Bang Bang 45. Uh, your King of New York, Richie Radio, the man with the Midas touch, the knowledge and the know-how, the one that's got them on the mic and off the mic, baby. Let the video gate do the work, guys. While I go across the room and lay it out. Some tough guys, just like I said, bad girls. They're thinking about the next man's dick, huh? By the way, guys, that cackling hyena calls himself Birdman 3931MY on YouTube, and he is a very, very, very coked out motherfucker. Pay attention, public. Yo. Delirium of the fucking heroin needle. 
Yep, and where does he put that heroin needle? God, the cleanest arms in CB radio, guys. The cleanest in the fucking business. The cleanest in the business. Not a mark. The arms that punked them. Ain't that a bitch. That was the last video he was allowed to see. Birdman's implying that YouTube made sure his phone cannot view any videos and they suspended his account for two weeks. Am I clear to understand that's what we're going to hear when we rewind this video gate? And yes, Enforcer did invite me to the Barclays Center. Swear he was coming to my hood, swear it was 20 blocks away. And told me if I didn't show up there, I better never keep my radio. I didn't tell him I was going to be there. I didn't tell him to meet me there. <laughs> From Utica and Winthrop to Atlantic Avenue, that's about three miles straight. And then there's another two, three miles to the Barclay Center. It's about four and a half miles. Oh, oh my God. It's disgusting how I know that neighborhood. Somebody, you already eat Richard. <laughs> God, he only he even believes his own made up stories. That's what's sad. And he tries to sound so convincing. you shall find. When you want to know who I am, come try to tap me on the shoulder or walk up to me and identify yourself. And that's, then we'll find out what it is you really want to know. Hey, uh, hey, 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 uh, bird girl. Bad girl's trying to talk to you, man. You keyed up right over the bad girl, the junkie stations. All right, all right. Well, that's because you're way off frequency. You can't hear anyway. All right, we're back in the cut. I want to know what he knows about BJ Bar. I want to know what he knows about... 
He sounds like a pussy reaching for the stars. Uh, have a good time with the junkies. Hey, Birdman, you want to know a lot. Just come up to me and say, hey, Birdman here again, and you'll get all you need to know in fine style. Pussy boy. Look at that. You see the way he fights? Uh, you know, I really can't, uh, I really don't even, you know, I don't lock it up with pussies and wannabes. So you see how I'm working them lately. Breaking their hearts, staying quiet, and letting them get frustrated listening to themselves. The king got down. I want to know what he knows about Jesus Day and who was the only commercial pizzeria ever to run Well, I'll tell you why, man. I was diving off of the back of that place when it was called Corvettes, bitch. Run space in Caesar's Bay. That's what I want to know. My mother and father got a divorce when I was like five years old before he started working for the Transit Authority, Birdie. Remember that. You want to sit out here and talk about Brooklyn? The motherfucker says he had pizzeria at the fucking Lower East Side. Where in the Lower East Side had a pizzeria? You know anything about pizza dough? What the fuck you know about pizza dough? I want to know what you know. I want to know what you know about the Lower East Side. I want to know about the barbary. I, I went through this last time, Bird. Off the top of my head, what I remember the best about pizza dough is five gallons of water to 65 pounds of dough to a quarter pound of yeast. Oh, and you know what? That would make me about 120 doughs. In 1988, I was in the state of Florida. <laughs> Till I believe, uh, no, actually, I was in Jersey and Florida. And then uh, 1990, I was back in Jersey. So I couldn't tell you what Manhattan was in 88. But I noticed this. They tried to say Pizzazz Pizzeria wasn't there. And, uh... A couple of electric lines didn't fuel a couple of the trailers that were parked on the side of my block, you know, because what's her name uh, was rented the apartment two doors down. Uh-oh. Why did she rent that apartment? Uh-oh. Who did she find? Uh-oh. What's her music say? Uh-oh. Jerk off. He heard me saying, Skip, I'm from Missouri. Show me. And ever since then, to him, I'm born in Missouri. <laughs> Skip land. I'm from Missouri. You gotta show me. And he ran with it. I'm out. You should be able to tell me where the hell it is. I'm gonna leave it like that, bad boy. You was born and raised on West Fourth. You better know where the hell it is. All I have to know is that I punked all you bitches 
and you can speculate anything you want about my life, upbringing, and where I was born and raised. Little Richie Cappy, back quiet. He's a no man, he know nobody. I said this months ago, when I pulled his entire history. The man was born and raised in Bud Lake, New Jersey, when Bud Lake was a prominent neighborhood filled with doctors and lawyers. His father gave him everything a child could have wanted, and then when the heroin epidemic hit Bud Lake, New Jersey, Richie went to rehab twice. On the second bout, which he lost again, he came home, he robbed his own house, and that's when his father disowned him. That's the life story of Richard. Wow, so you mean to tell me that means Wow, I I'm sure Debbie will tell you none of that is true. But hey, Bird, I love hearing your renditions of me. And no, that boy in the yearbook of PS 177, Seth Lowe, James Madison, John Goddard, that's not Richie, man. I never went to these schools. Ah. The man's father did all he could. My father was a transit worker, but I like to hear you speculate on this. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Listen, I'm telling you. He tries to sound so convincing. You know, that's a true story. Yeah, that's true. That's a true story. These are junkies. This is Birdman. And that's what his father sold him so he can save his other two children. Yeah, man, Why are you mad? I love his rendition. My father had two sons, Richard and Vincent. Michael was from Angelo. Get your story straight. I'm not little Richie Cappy. I wasn't born and raised in New York and Brooklyn. I didn't go to any of those schools. I didn't graduate PS 177. That's not me in the yearbook. Have a good day. Crying junkies. Cry on, guys. Yo, man, boy, I got everything, man. I got every fucking detail. I got times. I got dates. Yo, for all he got and brags about, he's got nothing posted. And if any of this was true, he would make millions. The king is clear. And with that, bad boy, CK, I gotta go uh, roll my sleeves up for a dollar. So the heroin junkie... You could roll your sleeves up for a dollar because Richie does not do your heroin, as his arms reveal in the, earlier in this video. And, uh... Whoever's feeding you your information, I hope they keep on because, you know, that's a beautiful thing, man. You're going to tell my bosses, my family, all my friends, all my fucking girlfriends. Oh, no, Richie was not born and raised in Brooklyn. Richie did not go to P.S. Public School 177 on West First and Avenue P. He didn't graduate that elementary school. He did not go to Seth Lowe on 13th and Avenue P. He did not go to John J. Gotta 202 on the conduit over there and get into a beef with Gotti Jr. Nah, that wasn't him. You know what I mean? It was none of that, baby. Uh, you know, he, <laughs> he gets caught in skip land going, I'm from Missouri, show me, and bad girl wants to try to convince the whole world I'm from Missouri. I, you know what? I got to say one thing. If you don't know by now, Richie is the king, just listen to these tough guys and these junkies. The king, little Richie Cappy, got down. Not for nothing, my whole life I grew up despising the name Cappy. Little Richie Cappy. I hate it when people will call me Little Richie because of my Uncle Richie. I despise the man. But the word Cappy makes the meter swing so nice. Cappy! Jeez. The King of New York. Back quiet. Oh yeah, Birdman. That 1982 shootout at the corner of 4th and Avenue U, where a couple of Carlos guys got capped, two officers were injured. Yeah, that wasn't me. I wasn't I wasn't the savior that day. You know what I mean? That that girl I drew out of the police car, because I had to go respond to the call, you know, she's not real either. But you know what's very real, Birdie? The kid right here. And that's all you need to know. <laughs> Oh, bro, while we're at it, you could say I didn't start my career. My first house was at the 6-2.
Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to get back quiet and listen to the wannabes. I hope Bad Girl never forgets that, that I told him that over and over. Bad Girl, you remind me of the cast that used to come around to impress my Uncle Richard Logan and my stepfather, Angelo the Snake Peretti. A peon, a wannabe, a gopher. <laughs> you know, well, come on, come on, forget about it. Ah. Guys, you know what? It's a good thing. It's a good thing when Bertie sends out here all day long. The public says, "How come Bertie brags about this? Bragging about it? But got none of this posted. Is it real? Of course, I'm all real. But everything they say is fake, and that's why you see none of it. That's why all you hear is words of it. But the people in the know, and uh, you know, I ain't gotta say nothing. There's, there's there's real motherfuckers out here. There's motherfuckers who can remember. Oh, I was on the avenue that day. I watched that motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not me, man. I love being me, and I want you to remember this. It's me that crawled out of your speakers and fucked you royally. I'm actually, I didn't do it. You know, you did it to yourself. Your own mouth did it to yourself. But at a later date, all that shit you're saying that is not me and I'm not, just remember who's coming at you, calling your government name. And look at my left hand. To, as I'm walking out, it's going to be my right. Pay close attention to my right hand when I say your name. Well, you know, I'd rather be a no-show to something I never agreed to show up and told somebody to meet me there than have to tell all of New York City I was in front of Bad Girl three times hanging out with him. I even gave him a dollar, but I didn't tell him my name was Richie. So I'll be anything you want, biatch. see, Richie's got the reputation for always being the correct victor and uh, the real deal. So they're hoping Richie would go off half cocked, fuck up, and attempt to finish the fight. They started, dug their own grave, and are hoping that uh, I can blitz out and uh, fuck that all up. Don't hold your breath. Let me tell you something. You got a better chance of that cunt in Ringwood putting up another 43 million to try to make that happen. The king of New York, back quiet. And you better hurry up and get that money from her, because when I'm done, they're not going to have one penny left, not even in the Swiss accounts. They're going to get there and go, oh, you were just here yesterday. Not all. They'll look on their face before I decapitate them. All right, I'm clear. And And that's supposed to be a bad boy. Guys, I leave you to the crying bad girls. We're clear.